this week was insane. People were either at the brink of death or they were coming back from the dead. So are you ready? Let's dish. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Oh, hi. we get the little bunny rabbit song. It reminds me of bunny rabbits. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Dish and Days. We are After Buzz TV's weekly recap of NBC's Emmy award-winning soap opera, Days of Our Lives. Woo-hoo. I am one of your hosts, Tammy Govea, joined today by two of the most amazing hosts here at After Buzz TV, starting with... Michael Mattis. How are you? And hello, everyone. I'm Chelsea Overock. Hey, with the princess wave. <laughs> or the queen. The queen. The royal wave. It's um, a pageant wave. Right? The pageant wave. Yeah, pageant, pageant wave. wave. Pageant <laughs> wave. <laughs> Please, we say this every week to follow us across all the social media platforms. Mm-hmm. On Insta and Facebook, you can find us at Dishon Days. And on Twitter, you can find us at underscore Dishon Days. What is it? Underscore Dishon Days. OK. Yeah. The ad is implied. <laughs> if you're in the chat room now, who's uh, who's some people in the oh, chat room? Oh, we have room? some. We have? Uh, we have some Sarah Rue. Some oh, Sarah Rue. We have Sarah Rue, Dylan Matthews, Annie Goen, Kelly Fogg, Tim Rowell. A lot of the usual That's players, awesome. but yes, we appreciate our loyal, our loyal Always. viewers and chat room participants. Dwight Simmons is there as well. Hey, Mr. Dwight Marlon Simmons. Marlon Wallace. Yeah. Colleen. Colleen, I'll just... I, I, Perfect, <laughs> Colleen. Can't pronounce your last name. So you're just Colleen like Madonna. How about that? Make some comments. So, yeah. Make some comments, folks. Yes. Michael will be monitoring. What did you guys think of the week? Tell us what you thought of the week. Yeah. Podcast listeners, if you're listening to us now or if you're going to check in with us during the week while you're running errands and doing grocery shopping and... I don't know, falling off to sleep. I listen <laughs> to podcasts as I'm dozing off to sleep sometimes. Um, make a comment. Mm-hmm. Give us a five-star review. Mm-hmm. Tell us that you love us because mm-hmm. we're needy that way and mm-hmm. we just want to be loved. So give us a five-star <laughs> review and we will forever be thankful. If you are a fan of the other soap operas, we have recaps for those as well. So Jenner Hospital, we have the GH Report. Young and the Restless, we have the Restless Rap. Um, bold and the beautiful. We've got the bold breakdown. James and I will be coming back next weekend for a, a breakdown. Make sure and tune in. Um, a breakdown. So a breakdown of Don't the bold down. and beautiful. Oh. Break yes. it down. Break, break it, it down. down. Take it, Chelsea. <laughs> um, so yeah, tune into those after shows for the other soap block shows because they're amazing and the sh- the shows are amazing. The soaps right now are crazy hot. That's yeah. about it for all the little tidbits. What did you guys think of the week? <gasps> like insane. <laughs> like really insane, insane, right? Insane. That's the only word that comes to mind. Like there was not one day where it's like, uh, it's kind of slow. Monday was intense. Mm-hmm. Tuesday was good. Yeah, Monday was like a tear Ooh. thing for me. Like, Wednesday, <sighs> Thursday, and Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's literally what was going through my mind. I couldn't wait. It was good. Uh, it was good. What? No. How you two just... complete polar opposite responses. I was just like, I don't know. I was disengaged for a lot for a lot of the episodes okay. this week until later in the week. Later in the mm-hmm. week, I got. I was like, okay, I like this. Okay. But there were there were some things that just maybe I don't know if it, they moved a little too slowly or just weren't engaging enough. But I found myself like checking my phone a lot. And I know when it's it's good when I don't even want to check my phone when I'm fully engaged. And I just, I had very few moments of that this week. I don't know. I, but I really didn't know why. I'm like, it, it's good stuff going on. It was amazing. Yeah, it was so, really good. I don't know. Maybe I, it was just in a mood. I don't know. I think I was just happy because Sin was on for all full five <laughs> right? days. And that never happens. I know. So It's usually the latter part of the week they bring him in for like two minutes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Of late. That's how it's You're been right. going down. So right. we, we got our fill. Sinners <laughs> got their fill. Kelly Fogg says, oh, come on, Michael. The whole week was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, Michael. I'm Sorry, with you, Kelly. I, I'm a harsh <laughs> critic. I guess some. No, we we need that. We appreciate we that. You need the old crotchety old man on the, <laughs> the left end of the table. Yeah. The little old man in Scooby Doo. Yeah. You kids. Okay. Are we ready to? <laughs> yeah. To, to break Let's this do down. It. Yes. All right. Now it's time to start. Dish and days. Ta da! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't even know. What? We're funny. Eric, Nicole, Holly. Oh my gosh, she's so delicious. Oh, she's so 
Did you just want to eat her? So cute. Oh, my God. Um, and then in parentheses, Jack, Jennifer, doc, <laughs> Dr. Roth. Dr. Roth. Do you like Dr. that? Dr. Roth, love um, it. And Vivian and henchmen. There are a couple of henchmen this week. <laughs> henchmen. Michael has issues with henchmen. I had with issues with those henchmen. Yes. I had, I'm like, okay, we'll get into it. When we'll get, get to, to the henchmen. Point, but let's start with... Oh. Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> what, what does Tony say? He d- mentions the going, picture it. Chicago. Pic- yes. Monday. Picture this. J- so it was Jack, Jennifer, Eric. Hovering outside the, the door. Just, just them three. Just them three, right? Just them three. Just them three. Yeah. So they find Rolf, and then out comes new Vivian, who the chat Robin room. Robin Strasser. Who the chat room has dubbed Dor, Dor Vivian? Dorvian? Dorvian Dor, 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 because of because, Dorian Lord. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Did yeah. you guys see ever see her those old episodes of One Life to Live when she no, played Dorian Lord? She's Lord. completely new to me. She is. I mean, she's everything. So when we found out she was coming on today's, mm-hmm. I love Luis. She's good. I was not wanting to like Robin Strasser at all. Mm-hmm, right. But, oh. Louise, like the character of Vivian, is just such a, a un, like unique and and um, like class, iconic iconic yeah. character and. Yeah. For such a long time, you I like you when you picture when you say Vivian Alamein, you picture Louise Sorrell, and so yeah, I was, it was a, I was curious about how I would take her, and I'm like I don't have a problem with her. Yeah, I mean I was like that. <laughs> I mean honestly, when Kristen got recast, mm-hmm. because there was no one that I could see beyond but see, I knew, Davidson. But, but, but you knew Stacy. I knew Stacy's work. I didn't so, know Stacy yeah. at all. She's phenomenal. And now it's it's like, yeah, she has me. Vivian has such a dynamic character. I really, really liked her, um, especially that interaction with Kate, and then how she's talking with her son. And I just love how she just calls him too on the phone. Oh, by the way, like BT Dubs. I'm alive. Hey, baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm okay with her. I thought, yeah, I loved. Her. I mean, she didn't it, she didn't wow but me, it, but it yeah. got kind of odd because all of a sudden, okay, so they're on the room together, uh, and all of a sudden, Jack is offering Doctor Rolf his own. Laboratory. Laboratory. If you, if you come back with us to Salem, here's your own lab. It was such an easy sell. It was bizarre. Like, because, okay, so the whole thing is, Vivian comes out, she's alive, and Jack's like, wait, you, you have your memory? And Rolf says, oh, he can't give Jack the serum because it was lost in, in the, the fire. fire. So... They Jennifer and Jack are like, oh no, come back to Salem. We'll set you up in the hospital, and we get. And he's like, okay, with no oversight. Yeah, yeah, that was that no, 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 no oversight. Which, like, okay, which so made done. me think Days now has another out because who knows what he's going to create. That's oh, what I yeah. was If Days can't get out of a scenario, they can always blame now Dr. Rolf mm-hmm. in his time now has come yes. up with this. Yeah, an alien nation who's now going to be like like the Pod people. Ha! <laughs> it's going to come into another storyline where he's going to create, invent something, and it's going to go drastic. Yes. So that was just the lead way into another story plot that's probably going to take place later mm-hmm. on. Okay. Yep. Calling it. I'm calling <laughs> it. Yes, we are calling it now. Write it down. Writing it down. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> on it the, up. On September, September 8th, like, 2019. <laughs> so th- they, they're they looking for Holly and, or excuse me, Nicole and Holly. Right. And they found Vivian and Rolf. Yes. But they're still, they still think that they know where, uh, they think, Eric thinks that Vivian and Rolf know where Nicole is. And, and then these two her. henchmen come into play, or the one henchman. The one henchman. Who's boring AF. I'm like, you're a henchman? He's, he talks so softly, and as he's holding the, I'm like, <laughs> really? I liked him. And I was like, who are you? Who? Are, and then there was like, oh, she's he's not working for Kristen. I'm yeah. like, well, who in the F is he working so for? So that was a really interesting moment. That so was. now we know Kristen wasn't the only one calling the shots. But no. did we, ever, we didn't find out. We who. don't know who they it is. They just kind of dropped it. For I, this week. I thought for a split second he was working for Vivian. Because there was a moment when Eric is like, yeah. who else are you working for? And then Vivian stops pouring her cocktail and she looks over at him and they make eye contact. But she said, it's not me. It's not because, yeah, yeah he she, held her at gunpoint. Yeah. But I thought for a, for a while there, before they got into that, I was like, he's working for Vivian and Vivian's calling the shots. And I think they did that intentionally. Yeah. It's like everyone's going to assume it's Vivian. But then when she said, no, it's not me, yeah. I believed her. Yeah. So now there's so somebody we still else. Know. That's called. There's still someone else. There's still someone else. Oh, those days, okay. writers. I guess. It has to be. Do you think it's a Demira? It has to be another Demira. Well, I mean, this well, is that would be oh, very. Oh, what? <laughs> Chelsea's having an epiphany. Wait, I was just thinking. Your... <laughs> Who could it be, Chelsea? 
<laughs> She's on media, <laughs> like Jay's media. The Lord just took her over. <laughs> I was like, who else could it be? Well, with the dual app, you know that they're doing um, Chad and Abigail. So that's the only Demir that I could think of, but somehow they'll tie the app into it. Maybe he's calling some of the shots. Chad wouldn't be working with Kristen, though. No. I don't know. It's just a theory. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. Who's Johnny Demira? Johnny Demira. Is there a Johnny Demira? Yeah, one of EJ's kids, right? EJ and oh. Sammy's kids. Oh. Yeah, Johnny. Oh, that's Somebody kid. mentioned Johnny Demira. I'm like, who's Johnny Demira? Oh, so, oh maybe they'll. You think they it's think one of them? Maybe they're going to age him? The offspring? Maybe. I don't know. Either that or it'll I drop like him. I like that idea. Out. I don't know. So, okay, so then Ben Weston comes to the rescue. That's right. And yes. kills the guy. Yeah. Or and accidentally by accident, kills the guy. It was Enough with the death. Like, you know, they, they don't need to die. Like, there's everyone's shooting and dying. What's up with that accident, though? They both go for the gun, and then they're fighting, and it goes They do off. that too much Well, it was now. like yeah. a, a Tony and Ted moment. Exactly. Yeah, which we just had, like, what, two, three weeks well, ago? Well, the henchman had to go. I know, but they could have yeah. found... Ben could have, like, restrained him and done something else. Anyway, I'll go off my soapbox. So... Ben comes. I think it was a good moment, though, to just prove once again that Ben isn't open to killing anyone. Like, even given yes. the opportunity, it was a struggle and it was an accident. Maybe mm -hmm. they're just kind of driving that point home again. Mm -hmm. That okay. he's he's changed his ways and maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So He has. So then <laughs> Eric gets the guy's phone and starts texting somebody. But first he has to unlock it. <laughs> was that not an LOL moment that when she, uh, like, we're here. I'm really good I at got, unlocking phones. And I'm thinking, really? How are you going to do this, Vivian? Oh my God, I feel like such a dunce. She's hilarious. She just takes his, <laughs> thumb his bloody just, thumbprint. Boom. And it goes, beep. She's like, here. There you go. That was priceless. I love that, that funny. moment. That was a good moment. I felt like such a dunce. Like, oh my God, duh. Yeah, that's how you yeah, would do it. That's how you would do it. So yeah, so he unlocks the phone. Mm -hmm. Then he's texting with somebody. I yes. forgot the name. Antoni... I don't know who he's texting. Another, he's texting someone. The boss yeah, guy. Yeah, the other the hitman. So then... Oh, you think it's the other hitman? Yeah, because I think it's the one that confronted Eric when he went to the cabin. Like I the thought he spot. was actually texting whoever this other boss is, and the hitman oh. showed up. Oh. Oh, see, I kind of... Mm. I was with Chelsea. Yeah. Oh, I, no. thought, I thought when he showed up to the house, he somehow... I guess the guy told him where they were or whatever, because all of a sudden he looked at his phone and was like, oh, I know where they are. And it's like, well, tell us. Anyway. They're at 725 <laughs> Parkway <laughs> Give View. Give us some numbers here. Um, <laughs> I was waiting for that. So, yeah, he shows up, and then another henchman with a gun, and I'm just like, okay, He's a enough, big guy. Enough. I know, oh and I'm, my, like, I'm, like, was, I'm like, really, yeah. Eric? Like, Eric, good luck with this one. Yeah, but he got a good he got a good punch to the, yeah. whatever you call this area. Uh, pe not well, appendix. Well, I have but... love handles there, but whatever it's called. <laughs> now, Michael, um, you have to admit, that second hitman, though, was a little bit scarier than the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Hitman number two. Good. He was good. Hitman number one, no good. <laughs> no good. I would, no good. I would like to play that Hitman number one. He was just so like... Get on the ground now. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, Eric shows up, beats the stuffing out of... Oh wait, does that guy die too? No, he just no. got, he no, just got he knocked had, out. He yeah. got hauled away by the police. He got knocked yes. out and hauled, right? hauled away. Yeah. And then Nicole, after all the kerfuffle... Oh. Appears what a as great word, nowhere. kerfuffle, kerfuffle. Yeah. I love that. And she word. was so beautiful and glowy I know. when she Aww. appeared, and when they reunited. Aw, Eric and Nicole. I know. We love you. It was a good moment. Thanks to Dylan Matthews, who was like, "That's your hip, Michael." I'm like, "Oh yeah, that." No, be I think because in boxing they always say to hit this soft spot. That is true. I yeah. took karate when I was little. Yeah, like a little yeah. above yes. hip. Um, well, yeah, because hips are down. Above the hip, maybe. the back, mm -hmm. that spot. If okay. you hit that repeatedly, that can do really bad damage. Okay. So I'm going to disagree with the hip response. Oh, okay. Just not the hip. <laughs> we could play It's an game. anatomy lesson with this today. <laughs> I know, today. right? <laughs> uh. Okay, so Eric and, not Vivian, what's her name? Nicole. Nicole. Eric and Nicole that would be are weird. reunited. Yeah. Very happy. I did notice... I didn't notice this before. The way that Ari played Nicole, I was like, wow, this is completely different from how she was playing Crickle. Crickle. Yes. And I was like, that's amazing because I never realized before that when she, when she was playing Crickle that she didn't really have, like Nicole had this like kind of shyness or um, timidness about 
herself when she came out and I was like she's Nicole again you know and th that's Nicole there's there was different a definite um different different way of playing it absolutely and yeah. I remember Stacy and Ari saying that the character of Kristen is very physical mm -hmm. so when Ari was playing Kristen or no when Ari was playing Nicole playing Kristen <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of physicality because yeah. even when she was playing Nicole um, she was still Kristen and so mm -hmm. there's a lot of physicality and like you were saying Nicole isn't that she's right. softer she has moments but she has yeah. moments she's softer that's a good she's word. just softer and even when she came out there was a huge difference what Michael was saying <clears throat> with you know as Nicole like with Ari as she was playing Nicole playing Kristen but then gosh <laughs> then when she's just playing Nicole the way she speaks the way she's mm -hmm. just so soft with yeah. her yeah. words her just the way her posture there's is. a vulnerability to mm -hmm. her so yeah. authentic yeah. yeah it was sweet I, I thought the reunion was going to be anticlimactic it really and wasn't. it wasn't so that made me happy yeah mm -hmm. it was very joyous and then did we get any so did we get background on why Nicole was there and why they had a person like holding her there? Well, or was that just part of Kristen's plan? Because she did say that she knew Kristen's plan. She knew that Kristen was parading around Salem as her. She had a mat. She knew Kristen's plan and that her that Kristen's plan was to get to Brady. And and the plan was so she could have she would be reunited with Holly mm -hmm. and Kristen made good on that mm -hmm. um, I think she had guards just to ensure that Nicole didn't get any ideas to go back to Salem okay. while Kristen's running around that's kind of my assumption posing yeah. as her okay so that's what but then Nicole gave her the news that or excuse me Eric gave Nicole the news that no Kristen he told her all the tea he was like Kristen's been busted Brady slept with her all she, everything did you see that she response she was so like she was yeah. like, wait. She was shocked. Mm -hmm. And like, he like knew that it was me. Like, I can't, I <laughs> so will never be able to wrap my brain around that, Brady. Never. For, and so many people were coming at him this week. You slept mm -hmm. with Kristen and you didn't know it was Kristen. Like, she was the only one. Sarah came at him. I know, Victor every, came at him. He's not going to live that down. Yeah, no, ever. Soon. And each time he's like, I swear I didn't know. I didn't yes, know. Yes, you did. I'm I like, believe you did. Brady. And then Holly, we have oh, Holly sweet came Holly. out. Oh, Holly. Sweet little thing. Oh, my mm. living word. She's just growing up to be, I mean, she's been cute from the get-go, but she's she just is adorable. adorable. And then Eric sits Nicole down. As you said, Michael, just kind of explaining, like spilling the tea. Mm -hmm. Here's what happened, blah, blah, blah. When he said, I have something to tell you, I thought he was going to tell her about Maggie going back to drinking. Me too. Um, but he. Oh, I didn't get that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because they were talking they about were. Maggie, weren't they? They were talking about Maggie, and then that's when he's like, look, I got to set you down. I got to tell you something. Yes. And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, you know, because Kristen put Maggie in a vulnerable place, she started drinking again. But no, it went to Sarah, which kind of makes sense now, because when he thought of Maggie, he thought of Sarah automatically. It took me a couple of yeah. beats, but it's like, okay, I get the connection. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, sat her down and said I that was, was good. I was with someone else. I, yeah. I got close to someone else mm -hmm. while you I'm, were away. I'm glad he did that. I'm glad they didn't try to drag it on. Yeah. Because I feel like that's just typical soap opera. Like, okay, I'm pregnant. I'm going to keep it quiet. You know, I'm not going to tell this person that I love what's going on. And then it just kind of gets dragged out at the end. So I'm glad they're kind of like confronting it yeah. in the get go. So it'll be interesting to see how it's going to play out. Yeah. And that was that. I yeah. think that was it. For and then we we never saw Jack and Jennifer and Doctor Rolf. I know they just they <laughs> just know, went off back to Salem. Busy to his... building a laboratory. Yeah, right. I love that right. word. Uh, okay, so next storyline: Julie, Gabby, Stefan, Ben, Sierra. Parentheses: Hope, Doug, Brady, Victor, Stefan. Okay, so this is one storyline where I was like, <laughs> I was I was engaged with. I liked I liked this part of the week. The, Why the, are they doing this to doing Julie? What? Julie? Why are they doing this to her? I don't know. That's why we got to keep watching. I don't understand. Okay. Well, okay. Where do... I had a theory. Okay. And I think I mentioned it to you. But anyway, let's start with okay. <laughs> Julie and Gabby are arguing. Oh. That's what well, happens, Julie, right? Julie's trying to, like, apologize for being racist, basically, towards her. Right, yeah. Okay. Julie's trying to do good. Gabby ain't having it. 
And she's really, she really wasn't having no, it. No, she really oh. wasn't Like, there it. wasn't even a doubt. Where like, she... I can see why Gabby had that reaction, I guess. I, I didn't I can understand, remember. I can understand both sides. Really. I didn't remember that story when Gabby was with Eli and, and then Julie had feigned having a heart attack. Did you remember that? I don't remember it, but I'm pretty, I don't doubt that it happened. Yeah. Um, because if that did happen, they mentioned it several times. Then I get why yeah. Gabby's like, "I'm not gonna fall for this and again." Yeah. That's what Stefan was trying to explain to um, Lonnie, saying, "Look, it's the wolf that the, the wolf that cried, uh, the cry, the wolf, wolf that cried the wolf, wolf. The, the boy wolf. who yeah. cried, wolf. yeah, the boy who cried wolf." Yeah. So, yeah, I kind of see that. But with Gabby, I think when she was really on the ground, like couldn't breathe, I think she should have been like, okay, let's just get you checked out. Because yeah. even Stefan was like, she was breathing on the ground, he didn't even help her. But she, I think she was still upright. When Gabby left, Julie she was, was, she was, on, she the was ground, on the ground, but, but she, she was, was still, sitting like, upright. And then Gabby left, and mm -hmm. that's when Julie just she killed went. over. Yeah. yeah. But luckily, Ben and Sierra found her. Yeah. Little boy Ben gave her yeah. some CPR. And man, Victoria, she just nailed it this mm -hmm. week she with her did. emotional scenes. With Julie and with Doug, especially with with um, Bill Hayes, mm -hmm. the scenes with her and Bill Hayes were so beautiful. Yeah, I love when she sets him down, and then she was like, "I'm here for you." Yeah, you know, and he goes and tells the story. I'm about, getting like goosebumps. Yeah, <laughs> they were just the both whole crying. Parent thing. You that know? that was almost my awe moment. I just it was so authentic. There were a lot of awe moments. There really was. I had a hard time this week. <laughs> yeah. So many. But them two in particular. And that just shows the maturity of Sierra. Mm -hmm. So, and I love how when she's with Ben in the hospital and he's like, are you gonna be okay because I have to go do this other job? She's like, nope, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be strong for my family. But then when you're here, I have a chance to break down. Would you be okay with your significant other going off she's a, to work? She's a strong girl. So. That's I, a tough one. It's a tough one, but. I think it's very Sierra. Yeah. but. Typically, I don't know if that would fly for most people. What, Ben going off to work? Yeah. Well, you're at the Julie? hospital, your grandmother is yeah. not doing well, and he I gets a like work I feel like early call. in the relationship, you'd be okay with it, but then later, I don't know, maybe it's like... If it was you're, hope. You're, 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 like, yeah. you'll, you'll pass... You'll give things more of a pass early on in the relationship than you will later in the relationship. Interesting. And she just stood up for him because he, he got fired by Gabby, and mm -hmm. so... And she doesn't want to risk anything now. She told him, you need this job. Exactly. So I totally got it. So but I thought that was interesting. I, th I think it's a maturity part on her own. Because on she, the relationship. On the relationship. Because most people in general, they're just very needy when it comes, when they get put in a bad situation. So she was able to step aside her feelings, saying, you know what? It's family time. I need to be here with my family. It's not like she was left alone. alone. Like yes. the family was going to come. Um, so she kind of said, you know what? Well, you're, you've been here for me. You saved my grandmother's life. How much can I thank you? Prepare like to pay you for. So, um, yeah, I think that was very mature for her to say, "Look, you go do what you need to do, and I'm gonna be okay." And I'll and I just love that. Just gives me goosebumps when she just says, "And then." Oh, when I need to break down, I know you'll be here. Aww. Aww. I'm breaking down. I know. Speaking of breaking down, Julie's heart's breaking down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because of the damage. That is Gabby's fault. It's I mean, Gabby's fault. Because if, if, if Julie had gotten to the hospital sooner, there probably wouldn't have been as much damage to the heart. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Wasn't intentional. I totally get why Gabby but, didn't yeah. buy it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I think that's... Uh, oh. So they're saying that Julie's heart is too damaged to pump blood through the rest of her body. Correct. And, and she's too old mm -hmm. for a transplant and right. to have surgery. Right. Yeah. So right now it's kind of up in the air about what, what's going to happen to Julie. She's, she's in the hospital. to die. I, yeah, that's Unless, what it looks like. Here's what I'm thinking. Dr. Rolf is going to build a bionic heart for Julie. Are we really going to do another bionic body she, they're part? They're going to keep her they on Dr. Rolf's suspension. Okay. This is what I'm. These are my predictions. We, we can't get rid of Julie. No. We can't no. No. Get no. Rid no. I have no. I have no thoughts of them actually killing Julie off. No. That. I mean, if if they did, I would disagree with that decision like wholeheartedly. Then I don't know where so, you know where is this. She. There's no miracles here. Her heart's her heart. Right. Like right? It, she seems like yeah. in a in a no win situation. But 
Uh, you know, you, you may be right. Maybe a bionic heart's in order here. Tammy, I don't know. I think you nailed it because it, the timing is perfect. Dr. Ralph is now back in Salem. He has his own lap. He could do whatever he wants anything to do. Anything he wants. Anything. 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 Because I, I will be, ve I'm just telling you right now, I will be very unhappy if something happens to Julie. They can't. No. I, they can't. I'm just saying. They can't. It will be ugly here at Dishon Days. If, <laughs> we would if they be a dark do, day. It will be a dark day here at Dishon mm -hmm. Days. So she, uh, Julie, kind of wakes up and reveals that Gabby was there with her when she had her heart attack and left her. Lonnie goes and confronts Gabby mm -hmm. and is kind of like, how did we think about? How do we feel about that that confrontation, Lonnie and Gabby? I think it should have been Eli. It was an interesting choice. Yeah. Mm, um, I think La I kind of like it. It's, it shows her role of how she's going to become a part of this family. And Eli, you know, need to be there for hope. So I think okay. with Lonnie, and that just shows the strength of their relationship. Lonnie picking up the pieces saying, okay, look, this is part of my family now. And you don't mess it's with a really my family. Good point. I didn't think okay. about that. Yeah, I didn't so think about that either. I'm, I'm happy that she, they were the ones that confront each other about it. Okay. I thought it was more Gabby and Lonnie have always had kind of a contentious relationship. Right. Because they swapped boyfriends. JJ and, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So I no. thought, oh, it makes sense that they're now in each other's faces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I think it's more, she's now part of this family. And yeah. Julie's her family. Yeah, he is. So then... Uh, Onto the Sierra, Sierra Ben portion of this storyline. Victor decides out of nowhere that. Thank you. Out Literally of nowhere, out of left field. What, what happened to Victor? He just was having a conversation with Brady, right? Brady. Yes. yes. And he goes through like all of the the um the family members, and he's like, Sierra, uh, Claire went crazy over Ava Vitali's son. <laughs> Forget what word you use. And he's going he's going over how like. And she was like, Sierra was supposed to be the strong one. Sierra was supposed to be the smart one. And so he decides that, okay, Ben and Sierra need to break up. Out of nowhere. And we're like, okay. What I, which I like because, I'm sorry, Ben and Sierra, or any couple as a happy couple on a soap opera is kind of boring. Right. They I mean, need, they need you some know, conflict. Yeah. You're on literally borrow time so as I'm, a happy couple on Right, so I'm glad daytime. that they're they're presenting some conflict for, for Ben and Sierra. Um, but yeah, Victor. So his plan is twofold. Offer Sierra a job mm -hmm. at Titan in some executive training program that I guess he just came up with, and then kill Ben. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, Victor. It was interesting. I, I, yeah. Because what when do think about this? when Brady saw Sierra at the hospital and presented her with, here's the idea. It's time. Mm -hmm. We think you're going to be great. Um, Sierra was a little taken aback, as was I. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like trick going to medical school. It's like, where is this coming from? Mm -hmm. um, I thought, and then it's, it was it's, it was very Godfather-ish, you know, because yeah. while when things going on, all hell's breaking loose over here. You <laughs> yes. know, that montage of everyone getting shot up. You know, Victor has got Ben to, tied to the chair. I thought Brady was aware of the twofold plan. I thought he was aware. No, of, I didn't think that. Of what Victor's no. other side of the plan was. I didn't think that. But he wasn't. Mm -mm. Which I'm glad because that's going to save Ben. Because oh, yeah. uh, Brady and Sierra had that nice talk where she's like, you know what? This is my relationship with Ben. You don't have to understand it, but you mm -hmm. do need to respect it. And I'm not going to take this job if you want me to break up with my boyfriend. So she put yeah. Brady in her place. And he's like, look, we'll be honest with you. We don't want to see you with the psycho. And Yes, yes. Sierra. Like, let's just be, be clear here about, you know, dating psychos <laughs> uh, and if, falling in love with psychos, Pot, shall we? Black yes. on that one. What about your little psycho? Who you're right. still in love with and you just I, won't admit I it. I knew yes. that was kind of, I was like, ooh, she's going to. She And then he was just <laughs> taken back. He's like, okay, what did little I just get tail into? Tail between the legs. So I like it because on Friday's episode, I feel like they established a stronger bond together where they kind of get nice. each other. Yeah. Brady and Sierra, because yeah. you don't see them. You don't and see she them said that, you she know, even mentioned that. We had we don't talk that often. Yeah. And they don't. And yeah. they're really good together. So do we think Sierra's gonna I don't think it was said. Like the whole interaction was basically Brady presenting this job and Sierra seeing right through it. Yeah. So but do we think she's gonna think twice and maybe say, Oh, do we think she's gonna take the job? Well, I think at the end of the conversation, Brady convinced her that we're not gonna ask you to break up with Ben. And okay. she's like, great, then I will seriously take a look at this proposal and and 
take the next step. So I think she's seriously considering it. I, th I wouldn't mind seeing that, seeing how that it plays out. It would be out. different. If she, it would be good. She gets into kind of the the um, the corporate storyline, you know, between with Titan and Demira. Yeah, I think that would be good. I think how it's going to play out first when she finds out what Victor did to Ben, she's going to refuse it, Ooh. and then he's going to convince her to take it. I think it's going to be good if she takes it because then she's going to be in the end. She's going to be closer to Victor. She wants to protect Ben. And it's going to play out with the Sin relationship because Ben is with the Demiras and Sierra is with the Chaotics. Conflict. So conflict. <laughs> so it's Daytime already. Conflict. It's, it's getting there. So I, I can see it now. I have to say, when Ben kind of comes to and realizes. After they threw water on him? Yeah, that's yeah. right comes to and he sees he looks and then it cuts to Victor I was scared yeah. the way Victor was looking at him mm -hmm. he's been even in that sitting position yeah. he's he's scared. a force like, he's a force yeah. just that stare yeah. Yeah. Victor stare it just daggers I want to see more of Robert Paul and John together such great such and I think scenes. they mentioned something on social media about what a great chance, you know, it was so great mm -hmm. working together. We don't yeah. get to work <sighs> together very often. Yes. Um, it was funny because we were watching it and Ernie happened to be watching it with me. And so he sees Paul Telfer do the, which com freaked the cannoli out of me when he <laughs> took his tie. I was not mm -hmm. expecting that. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. So he's doing the whole tie thing. And Ernie said, uh, is Xander a killer? And I said, I don't, I, I think don't I think, think he is. I think he's popped a couple people. I don't know if he's killed anyone. I mean, he certainly will do whatever he needs to do to get what he wants, but mm -hmm. I don't know if he has it in him to do what Victor wants him to do. Well, then what happened? Well, he doesn't. Why? And you, Why, Chelsea? Because right away, it only took the first two seconds for Ben to say, I've changed. Sierra and my love, she has changed me. And Standing you, ovation you moment. You should have seen Xander's face. He was like, oh gosh, that's how I feel. Kindred spirit right AB there. AB Levin's in the chat yes. room agrees with you. Yes. By the way. So that right them too. So um, Ben had Xander right from the start, and he didn't even know it. Yes. So he was never going to go through with it. And Victor called him out, and he's like, Xander's like, okay, you know what? I, I, I just need some time. He's like, what do you mean you need some time? You can't even get this done. I'm going to do it. And you know it's serious when Victor stands up from that chair. Mm -hmm. You know it's serious. I'll do it myself. <laughs> and who walks in? Brady. Brady. And who's going to save the day? Brady. What's going on here? What are you guys what doing? Are you doing? What are you doing? And that then, was such a fun, man. fun scene. It was, it was, it, it was good. D Dylan Matthews good. thinks uh, Sierra will take over Titan. Mm. Boss, we'll get another boss bitch. I can see her. I can see her. In the ranks of the other fabulous boss bitches we have in Salem. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, I messed up your last name, Sarah, so I'm not going to say it this time. Savage Ben came all out for Victor. All out on Victor. Yes. Called him Gramps. <gasps> I, I kind of cringed like, when I know, he said that. I was like, like Ben. Yeah. I was like, ben. You, you, need to, you need to tone it down a little bit. You're, that, you're not that's in like, the... That's like at home with your siblings, and they're fighting with your mom, and the sibling says something nasty, and you're just like, oh. Yeah. 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 That was that moment. Cringe, cringe moment. Yes. Uh, you don't do that. All right, so we'll see what we'll happens see how, with that. What happens. Um, wow. She, people in the chat room agree that it's kind of like, okay, how come Victor is all of a sudden concerned about Sierra? Well, there were a lot of storylines this week that were out of the blue. Mm -hmm. Like, where is this coming from? It's, but it's going to lead somewhere. It's going into oh, yeah. our next fall plot. So we're just getting ready yes. for it. They're just kind of planting the seed. All right. Next storyline, Vivian, Stefan, Kate, and Gabby. Oh my god. Yeah. So after Vivian Wow. So after Vivian is found and makes her way back to Salem, she and Salem. Salem. She and Stefan reunite. Yes. And <laughs> her and her flask. Her flask. I loved her flask. Candy's favorite moment of the week. I was gonna I was gonna ask if we should all bring flasks in this week, yeah. but Okay, so <laughs> earlier in the week before Vivian had come back, Stefan is holding Kate oh, that's at right. gunpoint. Yes. And with is, his and mother's gun. Poor Kate. She's always gun. at gunpoint. I know, but I. Uh, anyway, so Gabby comes in and kind of talks Stefan down, talks him out of popping Kate, 
and then Kate takes the entire bottle of scotch yes, with her as, purse as and is like, I'm going to my room. Like later. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. I would have been like, oh, get me out of here. Take the scotch, throw off my heels, and yeah. make a run for the stairs. Absolutely. Yeah. Lock the door. <laughs> and, you know, I've seen some talk on Twitter about this fear that Kate has had lately. Like, Kristen... Kristen holds her hostage, threatens her family, and Kate becomes like this hermit stuck in her room. And now Kate's like mm -hmm. afraid of mm -hmm. Stefan. And it's like Kate didn't used to be so afraid. Like yeah. Kate used to almost be like, bring it on. Maybe it has to do with Andre. Maybe, I, like, you his know, yeah. like his death? Yeah. Like maybe it softened be her a little bit. Feeling betrayed by him, him dying. Maybe part of her broke. I, from I that feel, because I don't understand I kind of need an explanation as yeah. to why Kate is not acting like the Kate that we love she you hasn't know? bounced back she has just moments no. yeah she has moments um so Gabby saves her basically talks Stefan down knowing that they and then they find out or I'm sorry Stefan finds out that Vivian's alive she gets the phone he gets the phone call yes that Vivian's alive hi honey they don't it's tell mom. I'm alive. They don't tell Kate, of course. They Stefan wants to kind of her to lay low. And Gabby didn't say anything. Gabby didn't I say anything. Like, she Girl, stood by her man. Oh my ah. God! You should say something to Kate. How could you not say something? Well, because Kate keeps keep saying how much the loyalty matters to her and that yeah. it won't be forgotten. Gabby's so, loyalty yeah. is to Stefan. But Gabby's loyalty, uh, yeah, exactly. Gabby's in a hard predicament. She is still wants to be on Kate's good side because she mm -hmm. saved Kate. She did. Yeah. And then at the same time, she's being loyal to Stefan. So she is kind of a little bit of in a web. And it's going to come to a point where she needs to choose sides. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Stefan gives Vivian her gun back, and she called it Priscilla, no. Nikita, was something. It, <laughs> was it Gertrude? No. I know she calls it. What was it, the name of the gun guys in the chat room? Yeah, what, I can't. What, what, Maybe, did, what does Vivian call it? Because it was gun? a really there good. Was, there was a name. Griselda? I don't know. Yeah. But this is what I love about Vivian. She just pulls out a gun in the middle of Salem and has Kate don't they hostage. All? I know, like, so many times. Like, okay, <laughs> moment when. No, I want to call them by their real names. When Xander got Ben right in front of the Brady Pub. I'm yes. like, no one's going to see that. Yeah. He's opening the door. Like, is the Brady Pub closed? Or he just sits there and chokes the life out of Ben yeah. for a good, like, 10 seconds. And nobody comes, to, no one's around Salem no that day. No one walks by. Anyway, that was, yes, I, I agree that things are happening in plain sight. But again, soap opera, TV. Suspension of Gotta disbelief. Kinda, yeah, you know, take it's, it for what it, it is. is how it Belinda is. was the name. Belinda, um, thank, you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, chat Patrick room. C. Yes, C. Diane. Belinda. I wonder where she came up with that name. <laughs> Annie, I'm just gonna something. call people by their first names in the chat room because I suck at last names. So <laughs> thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Ariet. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Annie again. All of them. Belinda. Belinda. I Belinda. love it. Linda. So Stefan and Vivian are planning Diane. the demise of Kate, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's that's what they're working well, on. Well, but he, they, they want to get back at Kate, but he's also like, okay, just you know, simmer down, we lay need low to be for patient, a while. But mom won't listen. Mama doesn't do that. Mom. Mama's out gun wheeling Slightly around. Slightly Belinda. Salem. Mama's free now. So then <laughs> Vivian goes. Her to reaction, wanna... Kate's reaction when he, yeah. she first sees Vivian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was hysterical. So then Kate tries to reason with Vivian and then, like, tries to use what Vivian, the ploy that Vivian was trying to use on her before Kate shot her was like, oh, let's team up and blah, blah. And Vivian's like, no. Mm -mm. So Vivian goes to her default, digs a grave. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh. This will be the third. She did it to, oh, no, she didn't. Wait, she, she did it to Carly. She did to Carly. She tried to do it to Maggie. And did But it. she right. got buried instead. That's right. Right. That's right. So now Kate is, you know, pleading, but nope, she... And Kate, <laughs> Kate's in the grave. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was kind of... Like, she wanted to shoot her, but the way Kate grabbed the gun, it went off. So I don't think that was kind of... I think Vivian wanted to have her at that place for a while. I don't think she wanted to shoot her quite suddenly. Not until Kate grabbed the gun, then she's like, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and do this. But I think she wanted to play and toy with Kate a little bit longer mm -hmm. if she could. And she wasn't going to bury her alive. She's yeah. like, no, 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 no. I'm going to make sure you're dead and mm -hmm. then pop yeah. you in there. Um, <laughs> did they struggle and then Kate cut shot? Or, I don't know. I think Vivian or just... Did she just... Yeah. No, she no. just shot her. I thought Kate was like... 
he, she said something like, oh, I'm not going to bury you alive. And then Kate went to grab it from her. And, and then the, yet the gun went off. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I forgot that part. I, yeah. And then she fell back into the. Yeah. Into the new grave. And then, so like, that's Vivian's my worst like, nightmare. Oh. My like episode. claustrophobia. Of ah, I think Kate bar. can handle it, though. Yeah. If anyone can handle it, it's Kate well, she's She has a bullet in her, though. True. So we'll see. Yeah. So that's how that ended. They, yeah, I was gonna say she fell into the grave, and that's how. Oh my god, that's her horrific. <laughs> um, All right. Okay, let's move on to some got after another, bus got, TV. Our secondary church. Yes, yes. our <laughs> secondary church announcements. Well, before we move on to our next topic, we just want to say thank you guys so much for making After Buzz TV the ESPN of TV talk. In order to help us grow, we ask if you please subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a rating on iTunes, and leave us a comment. We really just want to thank Maria and Kevin for creating After Buzz TV and mm -hmm. a place where we have a platform to put dishing days because we love engaging with you guys as fans. So thank you so much for supporting us in what we do and what we love. Yay! Yay! Ding, ding. ding. <laughs> Did you hear it? Yes. I, I loved, loved it. it. So good. Thank you, Ryan, who Thank is you. always on point. He's on with top of it. And he's on Thank top you. Of he's it. behind the scenes making everything run as smoothly as possible. Shout out to so. Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Thank Shout you, out Ryan. to Ryan. Uh, tidbit number one, Sarah, Xander, Kayla, Victor, and then parentheses, oh, okay, Sarah. Okay, so the, Sarah the second Sandra thing Xander was yeah. dealing with was Sarah and how she's kind he of on her own. Is no. so, I love their scenes together so much. I, that was, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of spoiler, that was almost my awe moment for man. the week. I mean, they had me, Paul Tuffler had me yeah. when he just said, look, you're beautiful the way you are, and I want you to have someone that you deserve. If it was me, I'd been like, oh, bye, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> bye. <laughs> and then she threw up at that comment. <laughs> yeah, and then, of course, classic, she threw up. And he's like, That oh. sound effect, though. I'm like, she just threw up straight on the floor. So then I was like, who cleaned me. that up? No, it was the waste paper basket. Oh, yeah. did she throw up? Yeah, oh, and then Xander, at the end of the scene, took out the waste paper oh, basket. Oh, my bad. Which is like, oh, my God, that's so sweet. Again, that was a moment where I guess I wasn't fully. Yeah. Engaged. Sorry. Yeah. I was so engaged in that moment. Yeah. I played it three times. He was so <laughs> tender and so no what's what's the word? Hmm. Artifice? <gasps> is that a good word? Artifice. artifice. Yeah, there was what nothing was artificial. It was just him oh. really genuinely He is very genuine. There was no Sarah. Xander no. stuff going on. And that's why he stopped strangling Ben. He's like, I can't. I, I'm trying to be a good man for Sarah. Oh, for the love of a good woman. Love of a good woman. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, it all fit perfectly with that moment, and then Ben had him as soon as he said, "Look, I love Sierra. She made me a better man." Went back. To I Sarah. love how Sarah like wants to be absolutely sure that she's pregnant, so she doesn't go to CVS and buy like an EPT. She goes to the hospital, starts doing up her wow, sleeve right? to actually draw blood, so she's a hundred percent. That's what certain. A, that's what a doctor does. Yeah. yeah. That's what she, she does. Got she doesn't the mess means. around with the, the, the drugstore pregnancy test. No. Tests. So I was going through the list of who the baby daddy, I mean, we know who the baby daddy is. Well, she are, she but, she kind of, she said there's no way, she's, she says it's Eric's. There's no way it could be. Um, how could it not be? Uh, Rex. How could he be that off? the possibility chart because they, I mean that's what she said that's what yeah if we're taking what she's saying I mean then, the window is pretty close between right. her the only one ending things okay with so men, men she's men she's been with in a biblical sense Xander which that's been too far long I was, there's no yeah, way it could be Xander no I was so we have though. Eric and Rex right and so when she said that I was like she said like oh there's no way it can be Rex I'm like was it had it really been that long but she slept with Eric right as soon as she got over with Rex. Yeah, and I'm then, sure she was intimate with Rex, not that far behind right. breaking things off with him. I guess and, the question is, who wrapped it up and who didn't? <laughs> it's it. <laughs> you both were just like, oh, jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> like, oh, like this oh asshole. my God. <laughs> I didn't want her to be pregnant. I didn't want that. I mean, that. I knew she was going to be, but it's like, uh, I, these storylines to me are so tired. But she also did mention, speaking of, like, she mentioned, like, she, she mentioned to Xander, she's like, please, I know how to not get pregnant. So that kind of means, like, oh, maybe there were precautions taken and maybe they weren't effective. Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But that was a, that was the last scene. She's like, oh, my God, I am pregnant. And I'm glad she told Kayla. Yes. Yeah. I really liked Kayla yeah. and Sarah together and I'm how really she glad. was able to come clean. I thought she was going to keep it from her. But then mm -hmm. Kayla just has this nice motherly. I know. 
So. Kayla's everybody's like mom. Yeah. You know, she's yeah. just, she's just there for you. She'll give you some tough love when you need it. She'll support you when you need it. When's Pat coming back? I know. Um, apparently. Well, I mean, it's already out that is. It's already out on I social. Mean, for, yeah. For a couple months. When? Oh, we don't. It's know already when. out. Oh. I okay. thought it was more. I mean, I know he's coming back, but I'm like, come on no, I know. already. Like, <laughs> ah. like maybe November. Kayla's been alone too long. Yes. And then. Um, the part of Julie that kind of happened before Julie or before they knew about it was Doug and Hope having their moment at Doug's place with Ted's letter, where he confessed yeah. basically like everything I told you was a lie. When he, <laughs> when I found out that he had lied about his child dying, because mm -hmm. I really bought that. Mm -hmm. I remember that scene, them having that conversation, yeah. and when he shared That's that just with a Hope. That's a low blow. Low like, low. Oh. oh. Yeah, did not. not. I never good. liked Ted and Hope, but now I was like, ooh. So so I wonder why they, why they, why Days chose not to just because Ted's dead. Why that they, why they had to, to um, I'm curious of where this draw it out. So yeah. to speak, no, no, not or, really draw it I mean, out, but why, why this letter had to, to, to be there. You know what I mean? Like. What is this going to mean for Hope moving forward? That's what I'm curious about. Maybe she point? needed some kind of closure. I think that was her closure because some people might still be fans of Ted and Hope out there. Um, they just seem to really want to squash. And like, they did. And it's been squashed. Yeah. Duly squashed. So I think they just want to make sure to say, hey, they're just, done. Yeah. I'm just curious why like, why in the writer's room or whatever they, they, they made that decision to, to do that. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, I was go going to say, Sorry. but the way they did it was good. I loved that Hope read the letter with Doug. What yeah, a, they had that father-daughter daughter moment. That was the best way to do it. I loved, oh my God, I got teary-eyed. I loved that moment when Hope said to him, I'm, I miss Bo. I think about Bo. Mm. Will I ever find that kind of love again? I was like, oh my god, so I just So you just reminded me of something else that happened. Victor was looking at a picture of Bo on his phone. That's right. Before, when when the whole thing about Ben and Sierra was happening. Is Bo alive? Uh, can I you mean, bring back Bo? Dr. Ralph, please. <laughs> I'm fine. Can't. Personally, I'm fine if he stays with the deceased, but I know I a lot mean, of people I mean, I know you that. and Tony love bring Hope Aiden with, back. with Aiden. Aiden. I was never... On that team with the two of them. I honestly can't see her with anybody but Bo. Same here. Same. Uh, but I love that moment. I love the when she brought up his name. I literally, I go, oh my God, she's talking about Bo. Oh. <laughs> so I love that. How can you not and love Bo? Bo and Hope. I, uh, okay, here's, okay. I'll ex you know what? I'll explain right now. I'll take a moment and explain. Bo, to me, was a very self-righteous character. He was the good guy, and he looked down on people that did not look live up to like what his standard of good was. And I feel like when he and Hope were together, that rubbed off on Hope. And Hope became this like self-righteous self -righteous. character. And it was when Bo left, and Hope kind of came into her own and was kind of on her own. I felt like the Hope character became just less self-righteous, just didn't have this arrogance about her that Bo did. And that is why I've, I've never like, really liked the character of Bo. Just my thoughts. It's a great it's reason. Good, it's a good reason. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not going to argue that, with That's you. why I just felt like I needed to explain that because I know Bo is like a legacy character and he and Hope are like the super couple to end all super couples but that's just why I never really gravitated yeah. towards him. So mm -hmm. there you go. So we'll see. That was a good moment. Like yeah. you it's said, good. like I wasn't sure what this is all about. Like why it was happening but we shall see. Who knows what the writers have up their sleeves. Mm -hmm. so, uh, but, but I think we covered everything, yeah. I think so. Sarah's pregnant. She's like, oh, my God, I'm pregnant. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, there's a lot. Okay. So now it's time <laughs> for our, our statement. Favorite part of the show. <laughs> and we are going to start with... Tammy, you start off this week. Yes, you do. What else? Hands down, hands <laughs> on this man because Please. Paul Telfer 
<laughs> At first I thought, Hands actually, Michael and I had this discussion because the color of his shirt and suit and the room color. I don't like the color of that room. I know. I was, like, I was like, is it my camera or how can I differentiate him a little bit better? But he regardless, blew. Paul Telfer, oh my living word, he's In just, he was all dressed up. I wasn't, yeah. he, he had was clothes good. on, first of all, he had a shirt on. Yes. And he's just in this beautiful Why is that suit. A good thing? And I know. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it was nice. It was a nice, it was something different. And he looked beautiful <laughs> and handsome and gorgeous. And pairing that with his softer side yes. with Sarah, yes. Paul Telfer, Xander, you get this week's. <laughs> Sarah says Zaddy. Zaddy. Zaddy, Zaddy, Zaddy. Zaddy, Zaddy. Zaddy daddy. <laughs> and now. <laughs> Kimi key, key in the chat room says he could look good wearing burlap. Right? It's so true. I concur. It's I concur, so true. Key me. So good. Yeah. And now it's time for. Caption Day. Oh, Tony All Baloney, right. we miss you. I know. Mm. He, I mean, he may post his three snaps on uh, social when he gets okay, a moment good. or yes. something. I don't know. He usually does. Oh. We'll see. We'll see what he thought of the week. Um, this week's caption goes to, uh, or actually, this week's caption photo comes courtesy of Eric, who spent an entire episode on his phone, uh, and so he looks very distraught about two two thumbing his uh, his message. And this week's caption goes to Sabrina Hilton Seabree thirty eight on Instagram with her caption, "That's not who I wanted to match with on Tinder." <laughs> of course, Tinder. Tinder. Boom boom. <laughs> Anyway, okay, that was this week. Sometimes they land, sometimes they don't. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. But thank you, Sabrina Hilton. You won, you won this week. Go, Sabrina. And now it's time for... Okay, here we go. Oh. Hey, what? It's like, aww. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this week's nice. all moment was hard. We had so many. We had, of course, our sin, and then we had Paul um, and Lindsay. But my winner does go out to Nicole, Eric, and Holly. Eric and Nicole finally reunite. Aww. And then when Eric gives her the news that Kristen has been arrested and this nightmare is over, Eric pulls Nicole closer and says, Nicole, you're beautiful. <laughs> Nicole. You, my love, I can't believe you're here. I never thought I would see you again. Eric, no one's gonna keep me from finding you. No one. And then they lean in, they kiss. <laughs> he asks if Holly's okay, and then the little cutie comes that around the corner. And then Eric bends down and says, Holly, I missed you so much. Did I tell you that? And then they embrace in a cute little hug. Ooh, hey, bye. It's like, aww. aww. <laughs> uh, just so cute. Love it. Oh, and then shout out to you guys have been, I've been loving your tweets with all moments. So when you guys tweet me, I will go ahead and shout you out too. I will do that. But you guys had some really good all moments that you just tweeted me and I loved reading yes. them. They're so cute. Fan engagement. Yes. Love oh it. Oh my gosh. And now it's time for <laughs> news and gossip. News and gossip. News and gossip. After Buzz TV News. Me World will get to your OSHAs. Yes, after news we and have gossip. to. We have to do a shout out to Me World. Okay, so first news and gossip. This is big guys. You guys, holy macaroni! So <laughs> special, crazy announcement. So next week, Thursday, was it September twelfth mm -hmm. at four p.m. Either take the day off, or I mean, I don't know. Figure it out because <laughs> Tony. James Law Jr. and myself will be here at After Buzz TV interviewing Eileen Davidson. Woo! That was my Oprah impression. Did you like that? Eileen, Eileen Davidson. Davidson. <laughs> oh you get gosh. Eileen, and you get Eileen. Yes, and you get, you get, you get Eileen. You get Susan, and She's you get gonna Susan. She's going to be in studio. I'm like, I don't I even know if I'll be able to form a sentence, fun. but <sighs> she's going to be in studio with us to talk about a new film, a new project that she's working on with her husband, mm -hmm. and then of course, you know, James is the YNR aficionado, mm -hmm. and we'll be talking about days with her and. Tune in Thursday, September 12th at 4 p.m. She's very easy to talk to, so y'all will be fine. I'm yeah. Gonna She's cry very down to earth. Uh, She's very cool. So. Okay, I'm so excited. Y'all do, do great. Okay. Yeah. 
And uh, next on the list, uh, we have an update about Starstruck Fan Event's Starstruck Scott Talent event in Myrtle Beach. Uh, this event has been rescheduled to the weekend of February 22nd and 23rd of 2020. I miss Cassie. I'm, I see I know her. Where she oh, did. I yeah. see her on the poster here. Eve, Eve is, is oh, kind of yeah. taking a break, I guess. Uh, Wow. All of okay. the same talent is scheduled to appear as the original dates, which are Eric Martsoff, Cassie DePaiva, Nadia Biorlin, and Jacob Young. Love so, Jacob. Uh, yeah, just a, a rescheduling note. Rescheduling. And just a reminder, tickets are on sale for the Starstruck Fans Annual Yesterday's event, Friday, November 8th, here in L.A., yeah. as well as the pre-Yesterday's VIP Happy Hour with Ari Zucker and Sean Christian. Tickets and info are both for both events, as well as Starstruck's Jekyll Island events are available at StarstrucksEvents.com and on Twitter at <laughs> StarstrucksFans2. Yes, awesome. the Starstruck fans guys are busy. They just they've been they really busy this year. Done, like one which after is great because they're uh, such they're such such great guys. Great guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're very we met nice. them last year for the first time. Yes, we were at yesterday's. At, at yesterday's. And we will probably be at yesterday's this year. I know it's so much fun. Yeah, very nice guys. I remember meeting Vincent Irizarry. Uh, Irizarry. Yeah. Oh. And, well, I. I was too shy. Was it you? Yeah, that, I was yeah. With you. you and I stuck together. Like, yeah. we were like. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, that's Vincent. <laughs> and you're like, oh, come on. I'm like, no, I don't know what to say to him. But it was fine. Yeah. It was good. And lastly, we want to send out a very, 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 very happy birthday to Christian Alfonso, Yay. our lovely Hope, who celebrated her birthday on September 5th. We hope you had a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Birthday. Um, she tweeted yeah. James Lott Jr., who is Christian Alfonso's oh, like super fan, yeah. tweeted her happy birthday, and she tweeted him back. They have yet to meet in person, which they is kind will. of crazy. They yeah, because he's met just about everybody. He's met, yeah, I know he's met, yeah. he's met everybody, but so it was a special one day, moment. It'll happen, and yeah. So uh -huh. shout out to James Lott Jr. We Yay. love you. We love you. All right, so Me World, his Osha's moment, moment of the week. <gasps> No, <laughs> his own snap um, was uh, okay. Victor and Xander showing Ben the proper way to tie a tie. <laughs> Man, that's just low blow. Domino. That was yes. mm -hmm. yeah, low blow domino. Beast. Great shit. Shout out Mike though. Bowman. <laughs> Mike, Mike Bowman says, "Beast, beast." If you all, if uh, which is a reference to when Eileen Davidson was on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and Kim Richards called her a beast. She's like, "Beast." <laughs> I love beast. that. That's one of my favorite Real Housewives of Beverly well. Hills. Yeah. I so think, yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's I mean, it was one heck of a week. One heck of a week. And yes. next week, these next few weeks are just going to be more and more insane. So before oh, yeah. we. Say adios. Yeah. Michael, where can folks find you on folks the socials? Folks can find me uh, on the Twitter at MLMattis1 and on the Instagram at MLMattis where you can see pictures of my dog. Oh, Bambi! Whatever food I'm eating so that day. So cute. Aww, okay. <laughs> well, you can find me on Instagram at Chelsea Overacker and on Twitter at Chelsea Overacker. You can find Dish and Days on Insta and Facebook at Dish and Days mm -hmm. and on Twitter at underscore edition days and you can find me on twitter at tammy govea and insta tammy .govea. you guys thank you so much for joining us Thanks, guys. we will see you next week next week bye. Bye. bye our founder kevin undergaro and me maria menounos would like to thank you for tuning in to after buzz tv remember we're not just the first we're the biggest in the world and we're the only destination for all your favorite tv shows whatever you crave we've got it so go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzzTV or its owners or principals.